Yes, good evening, everybody. My name is Zayda K. Smith, and I'm a detective corporal of police in the Jamaica Constabulary Force. I am also a certified question document examiner. And this evening, I will be presenting on currency note examination. I will be narrowing on the Bank of Jamaica $5,000 currency note. We move forward to the introduction. To mitigate current counterfeit currency notes, there are various distinguishing security features that have been put in place. This specific note, the Bank of Jamaica currency $5,000 note, it was introduced in the year 2009 and it bears the portrait of the right honorable U sharer at the front of the note. It is the highest currency used in Jamaica. And the Bank of Jamaica currency note, it has five denominations, namely the $50, $100, $500, 1000 and 5000 We move on to the security features of this note. Right, we have the watermark portrait, as I mentioned earlier, of the Right Honorable U. Shero, located at the front right and corner of the note. We have the optics thread, that is a 18 millimeter wide thread, which is displayed at uh, the Jamaica coat of arm. This thread, it is contained within the paper and it is not stuck onto the paper, whereby you can simply use an object to lift it. When this note is viewed under the ultraviolet light, you will see repeated thread that reads BOJ 5000 and the BOJ stands for Bank of Jamaica. You will also see fluorescent green when the note is placed on the ultraviolet light. Two parallel bars of fluorescent green will be visible along the edge of this optics thread. We move forward to the other security features. Right, you have the red map of Jamaica on the front of the note when it is viewed under the ultraviolet light, you will see a yellow background of the Jamaica coat of arm displaying a red map of Jamaica on a green background. So when it is placed under that light now you will see three different colors, which is yellow, red and green. We use red, yellow and green uh, signifies the Rastafarian color in Jamaica. We have the watermark highlight, and this watermark highlight, it is a bright electrotype 5000, which is located at the right adjacent to the watermark in a genuine note. We move forward to the paper quality. The paper that is used to make the Bank of Jamaica currency notes, it is made up of 75% cotton and 25% linen. This combination gives the note its strength and elasticity. Therefore, it is not easily torn. We move forward to the method of examination that I used. You, on the, the left of the screen, you can see me in the lab using my, my, my magnifier and my digital micro, my microscope examining my notes. On the right, you will see a picture of the video spectral comparator, VSC 40. We currently, at the, in the Jamaica Constabulary Force Question Document Lab, we also have the VSC 80. We move forward to pictures of genuine notes that are seen on the on the ultraviolet light using the video spectral comparator. So on the left, you will see it's a picture of the front of the note, and you will see the fluorescent green, the electric type, the red map of Jamaica, and all these features that you will see in the genuine note. On the right, you will see the back of the note. And if you realize in the, in the two parallel bars at the bank, where you see BOJ 5000, if you look closely, you will see that. So this is a picture of the genuine currency note. 5,000 that is viewed, that was viewed under the video spectral comparator. Now the currency note that I examined, it's, it's right here and you see a stamp counterfeit. Once we examine the note 
and it is found to be counterfeit, we have a stamp in the lab that we use to stamp it. Now, if you look closely underneath it, you will see the magnifications that I use, the same magnification that I use to examine the, the genuine notes. And you will see the same ultraviolet light and you're not seeing that it is, it is glowing green or anything there. At the back, on, that is the picture on your right, you will see the watermark portrait that it, it was traced with a writing instrument. Also the Electrotype 5000, you will, if you look closely, you will see that it was traced. Also the optics thread, the area where you see a oval shape, you will see that it is not properly constructed. Therefore, I came to the conclusion that it was a sharp object was used to create that oval and a cellophane tape, which is a plastic tape, was used to put over this note. It was quite interesting case for me whilst, whilst examining. Now, the major findings that I found in this note are what I spoke about. You will see, as I spoke about it, that the the watermark portrait was drawn, it was actually drawn, and you will not see the fluorescent green and all of that um, security feature. Moving on to the rest of the findings, as I said, the Electrotype 5000, it was actually drawn using a writing instrument. Please move on to the next slide. Right, and as the paper quality, the paper that was used to create this counterfeit note, it resembles the regular commercial paper. Therefore, it didn't glow and it was easily torn. It could be easily torn because the feel of it, it could be easily torn. If you crush the genuine paper, it will come right back out if you crush it. However, this one, it will stay crushed if you use it. I move on to my conclusion. And any any security feature that is missing from a particular note, it is deemed counterfeit. And because so many was missing from this particular note, my conclusion is that this $5,000 currency note, it was a counterfeit of the genuine Bank of Jamaica currency note. And this ends my presentation. Thank you.